Hi, I'm Dr. Angie Wyan, and I have a clinic in Portland, Oregon. Today I'm going to talk about hymenoplasty. I first want to review the anatomy of the hymen. Uh, the hymen is outlined in red on this diagram. Um, it is a thin, membranous uh, tissue that's there at the time of birth for little girls. It is below the urethra, which is where the urine comes out, and it's inside the small lips or the labia minora. Um, there's an opening usually centrally to allow menstrual blood to pass, um, and that, open ver that opening varies in size in women. Uh, it's not always the same. And this is the tissue that um, breaks with the first time with intercourse, and where for some of my patients culturally it's important that there's a sign that it has broken and there's blood at the time of penetration of the first time a woman loses her virginity. Um, what I'm struck with culturally is that many women in the Mideast or in other cultures grow up fearing breaking their hymen. Um, they're raised thinking that they have to protect this tissue because it is part of their integrity. Um, and anatomically as a physician I'm aware that the hymen can break even if a woman is virginal, meaning she hasn't had intercourse. There are times this tissue breaks with vigorous uh, activity horseback riding, gymnastics, a fall on your bicycle, um, and I don't think a woman would know whether or not her hymen's been broken uh, prior to her uh, making love to her partner the first time. I'm also struck with the difficulty culturally that women from the Mideast have when they come to the United States and become part of a culture where uh, this isn't an issue that we discuss in our culture. Um, American women are not raised knowing they have a hymen or talking about it very much. Um, we're not raised fearing that it might break because it might be broken at the time that we get married. Uh, we don't live in the fear that um, it has to be intact to make uh, the marriage valid. Um, and when women uh, with these beliefs come to our country and are placed in situations such as a college campus, an environment where it's not respected, um, I feel that uh, we misunderstand the stress that they're under having to deal with this. I also know at times through patients that I've seen that accidents occur where women have intercourse or are touched in a way that they think their hymen is broken. And then they have to return to their country with a fear that if it was broken and that the, if they're in an arranged marriage or a marriage where they want to convince their partner that they have a virginal status, that they're threatened with loss of family integrity or um, some of them have told me even death if they're not virginal at the time of their marriage. Um, I have great compassion for women growing up with this kind of stress and worry. Um, I'm a place women can come to to talk about it um, and talk about their struggles and maybe help them with solutions. One of the solutions is just checking to see if the hymen is intact or not. One of the solutions is I do a surgical procedure where I can um, put a hymen back together with the laser, with fine sutures, and it would be undetectable that the woman's had a surgical operation. Um, but it isn't always about having surgery, sometimes it's just informational. So please feel free to come talk to me about your hymen, um, about your struggles, about your concerns, and about how I can help put your mind at ease for the next leg of your journey, whatever it is. Um, thanks for listening. You can call my office at 503-908-1646.